Welcome to Bonnery Girls TV. We are here at New Douglas Park on an emotional day for the club, mourning the sad passing of Chairman Charlie Kirkwood last night. Charlie would have wanted the game to go on today, and a minute of silence will be held before the game to remember such an incredible figure. Calvin Colley comes into the Rose team in place of Calvin Higginbottom. The big change for Clyde is in the dugout. Darren Young taking charge of his first league game as manager of the Billy Wee. And after an impeccably observed minute silence here at New Douglas Park, the game gets underway. Borough goes wearing black armbands to show support to Charlie's family and remember Rose's chairman. It's over the top by Conley, one for Ross to chase, one that's not dealt with by a defender and an early lead for Borough Grows in quick fire fashion. Cammy Ross makes it three and three. He's found his footing at Rose and he's absolutely flying now. Craig Howey just gets caught in all sorts of bother there. It's a heavy touch that gives Ross a chance and with the confidence that he has at the moment, he wasn't going to pass up an opportunity like that. Beyond the keeper and Bonnery Rose are in front. Just a matter of moments into the game. Lee Curry over this one. Plenty of height on it, it's going to go all the way through, almost. Cammy Ross was looking to attack it, he seemed like the man who was almost going to get to it. Here's Allen. Skull in, off for Allen. It's Jordan Allen, and he hammers that one past Paddy Martin, and Clyde have the equaliser. They're able to work their way through. Kay Young can't get enough on it to prevent Allen from advancing further. And he lashes at that one after his brace against Rose last season. Scullion's corner. It's attacked by Rennie, and it's saved by Paddy Martin at the near post. Rose stopper forced into action there. You could tell when that one came in, Martin Rennie broke free of the crowd, powers that header. Curry's delivery, Cammy Ross breaks free at the back post, he can't get the connection on it. I think any sort of connection on that one could have made it 2-1 to Bonnie Rick Rose. It made a brilliant dart and run beyond the crowd. Scullion. Houston into the middle for Rennie. Rennie has a go, and he forces Paddy Martin to fly across and push that one out with both hands. It was swerving on its way through. The space opened up for him, he was always going to have a go from there. Ross, one for Ferry to race on to, down he goes. And no penalty given by the referee. As Ferry and Hamilton collide, gone over for that one. And there goes the half time whistle. Massive call at the end of the half by the referee. Looked questionable from our angle. We'll have to see the angle from our cameraman behind the goal. But a massive call and a booking for Angus Mela for his protests at the end of the half. the call going to be here from the referee big collision between Allen and Paddy Martin it's 
going to have some discussions with his linesman before he makes a big call here. If both physios have to rush on the field. A collision between the two of them. And it is a red card for Paddy Martin. Collides with Jordan Allen. Not sure if it was inside the box or outside of the box. But a massive game changer in this match. Rennie's had a couple of sighters a goal already this afternoon. Pushed out by Ritchie and Cammy Ross taking no chances. Volley's that one out of play. And the ten men of Bonnerick Rose agreed to remain razor sharp here defensively. Rennie, can he pick out the run of Allen, who's got beyond Martinuk. Tom Ritchie can't keep a hold of it at the front post, but the most important thing for Callum Elliott's side is that he was in the way of preventing Allen from getting a second of the game. That's what's going to, need to take for one of the girls to cling on to a draw here, bodies on the line. That's not what they were looking to do, neither is that. It's opened the door for Cammy Ross. And Cammy Ross has got a massive goal for Rose right at the death. Clyde, the creators of their own demise there. And the Rose away end's going crazy. Cammy Ross has his second, and Cammy Ross has what may be the winner here at New Douglas Park. The ten men of Rose have held on and withstood barrage after barrage from the Billy Wee, just waiting for that chance to present itself. And when it does, Cammy Ross doesn't think twice. Murphy just misses that one, Redfern, and it's slipped through, it's slipped in. And Clyde have a late, late equaliser here after Bonnerick Rose thought they may have had a winner through Cammy Ross just a matter of moments ago. The cross comes in, Rose don't get it clear. And Redfern picks out Richie's bottom right corner. On it for Magaki. Magaki taking it to the corner, and the referee's going to call an end to things here. What an action-packed afternoon here at New Douglas Park. One all at half-time. Bonnerick Rose thought they'd won it right at the end through Cammy Ross, if not for Marley Redfern placing it past Tom Ritchie just a few moments later. Ten men, Bonnerick Rose will see this as a battling point on the road. Full-time here at New Douglas Park. Clyde 2, Bonnerick Rose 2. Well, Cam, an eventful afternoon, going into 10 men in the second half. What did you make of the performance as a whole? I thought it was everything that we asked them to do um, before the game. Um, it was obviously a tough uh, 24 hours, but like the players gave absolutely everything today. Um, and playing with 10 men for 50 minutes, because he played, I think it was like 50 minutes added on time, they were like unbelievable. Um, and then, I obviously disappointed to, to concede that goal. But even you know like character resilience, um, quality at times, you know it was there in absolute bucket full. So um, no, it's, it's something that um, like the boys in there should be immensely proud of. Yeah, when Cammy gets the late goal at the end, it felt like the boys deserved when they really battled for it every single ball. Yeah, no, like um, like we. I don't think the keepers really had a save to make second half and you know like we're on top of the second half before it's even happened like I'll need to see the incident back because like Paddy's probably going to need to go to the hospital to get like stitches on his foot so like in my opinion I don't think that's a um, 
like red card, like he's, I think he's won the ball, but again, I don't know how many times I can keep coming in and every single week um, disputing decisions which are being made against us. It's a stonewall penalty for staff, it is a stonewall penalty, but um, you know, like we take it on the chin and it's something that's got to fuel them moving forward. Everyone at the club was devastated to hear about the passing of the chairman, Charlie, last night. Just what did Charlie mean to you in your short time at the club so far? Yeah, so as as you say, it's everybody's devastated. Um, like obviously everybody within the changing room, like is like, um, gutted. I'll be honest because he meant everything to so many boys in there. Um, like what the journey that they've been all on t together, and um, I've been fortunate enough to kind of know him for like a short period of time, six months, and in the six months I couldn't have found a more helpful, more. Um, charismatic um, chairman and he's somebody that will be like sorely missed and it's a case of everybody now sticking together um, you can see on the pitch we're, like, we're on the right path we're not a million miles where we need to be and like Charlie worked his absolute arse off to get the club into the SPFL and it's up to us now to try and to drive that forward now and continue his legacy Cheers Carl Cheers thank you